Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie K. Love. Thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today is another exciting episode because it is my six month success story update since using the law of attraction consciously. Uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, please make sure that you check out the rest of my success story updates, provide monthly updates. And this month is extra exciting. Number one, I hit a milestone in my life and I'm going to leave that straight to the end because it's the most important. So today I've broken up my success story based on three different sections and I just want to tell you that I have been working exceptionally hard on my self-love practices and what I need to do to raise my vibration. As you know, well if you're watching it in current time, um, which is we are in eclipse season at the moment and we've just gone through a lunar eclipse, we're about to embark upon a solar eclipse, which is very powerful, transformative kind of energy that is basically transpiring. And there's just, I don't know, I just feel like I worked extra hard to do the things that put me in the vortex. And since I have done that and made it like a daily, what well, was my daily self-love practice, I've been getting insights into things that have taken me like years to try and understand. So without further ado, let's get on to um, the video. So the three sections are a business, minimalism and personal life. So they're the three sections that I want to talk to you about. Now, in regards to business, hold on, let me just consult my notes. Okay, oh, the first one is that I actually manifested um, a vegan friendly chai tea company to literally send me their product. Um, I found this fabulous company called Tea and Spice Handcrafted Chai. They're actually a company from Melbourne. Um, and I was going through their website, I actually found them initially on Instagram. They had such a beautiful vibe and lovely energy. And I wrote to them, I was like, I would really love to work with you. Um, if you're interested, message me. Anyway, they emailed me and then they're like, okay, what's your address? And I was like, okay, blah, 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 blah. And then within like hardly any time at all, I received it in the mail. It's been a month since I have been using their chai and oh my goodness, it is so delicious. I've literally finished the packet. It's 250 grams I've used already. Um, I don't know. I'm a massive chai tea lover, but to find one that actually tastes really good and isn't and is balanced because I find some of them aren't very balanced. I don't know, this one just had this beautiful lemon myrtle aftertaste, which you'd be like, what? Yeah, nothing like I would have ever wanted to try, but somehow my energy was drawn to it. Anyway, it is absolutely amazing. I'll just link them on the screen now to show you that Instagram. So good. I'm not even, this is not even a paid promotion. I'm honestly telling you that I, I worship that company. I was like, oh, my gosh, can you please give me more? Like, what do you want me to do? Like, this is, I don't know. I just love them. The second one is, I actually completed my website. Do you believe that? I would say it's not 100% because I don't feel like a website can ever be 100% complete because it's a um, live working document. But I looked at my website the other day. It's not live, by the way. I'm looking at it and I'm just like, oh my God, yes, I love it. Yes, it's Buck's Joy. I feel like it represents me. It's it's very nurturing. It's very minimalistic. It's very, the way that I have written the copy, the words, oh, the lighting changed. No. Nope. Um, the way that I wrote the copy is literally how I would talk to you. And I hope that that, I hope that you feel that connection. Um, yeah. That was massive, absolutely massive. Um, and I'm like, oh, I learned how to do this and I learned how to do that. And that leads me on to the next one, um, is that I actually have told, I don't know if you guys watch more than just outside the Law of Attraction series, but I actually make spiritual readings, um, general spiritual readings on my YouTube channel every fortnight, which coincides with the full moon or the new moon that is occurring um, astrologically. And I do these readings to help my beautiful MK Love fam. I know there's a lot of you watching this, but I know there's a lot of new people here too, who um, 
it helps you deal with the energies associated with it. Anyway, long story short, I have been doing these readings on my channel, I think since March. I'm not really too sure. And it got, it gained such momentum so quickly. I had so many people literally email me and be like, Mel, can you do a private spiritual reading for me? And I was like, oh, okay. Um, sorry, but I don't have that service. Anyway, I had so many of them that it was like the universe telling me, have a wait list, put them on it, we can figure out all the rest. So that's literally what I've done. Within that month, I've literally generated over 80 people on the wait list. <laughs> There's 80 people on that website, which just blows me away. And it literally confirms from the universe that I'm on the right track and this is exactly what I'm meant to be doing which is nothing like I ever envisioned. Like I went and studied plant-based nutrition. I'm a qualified primary school teacher. You know, I worked with children in foster care. I used to work on a cruise ship for Disney. You know, like I've done all these different things but the universe is like, you weren't tapping into your intuition back then. That's why none of those things worked out or made you feel like you were on the right track. Anyways, so then, yeah. I have a wait list, which is about to be open very, very shortly. I'm pretty sure I'm waiting for the, um, <laughs> by the way, Mercury's in retrograde, which is massive to do with com complications, um, to do with communication, travel, and electronics. <laughs> uh, the electronics ones we've already experienced in our house because Peter's um, charger cord for his laptop blew up. Um, so we had to get that replaced. Communication has been a little bit crazy in regards with, um, with my family. Um, but yeah, so I have a wait list. I'm about to open my business very, very shortly. Um, and if you would love a private spiritual reading, just click the link in the description and it will lead you to the wait list. And that's when I keep you up to date. And that's literally from that list where I'm going to launch my business. Not on YouTube, not on Instagram. I'm literally launching it initially from that wait list. Cause that wait list, I cherish those people so, so much because they believe in me. You know, they, I don't know. To have someone believe in you is just a beautiful thing, but for you to believe in yourself is even more powerful. And I can't believe where I am at now, six months into consciously using the law of attraction. Anyway, the other thing that I have created this month is I had this fabulous idea to create a self-love starter kit, um, which I've already made the intro video. I've actually created a, a membership, not membership, kind of like a locked um, members only site. Um, which will be linked on my website once that's all live, which is so cool. Um, so I'm not going to tell you the details about what's in the self-love starter kit, but the inspiration literally just came to me one day and I was like, oh, okay, I'll do this, 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 and this. Anyway, there's three things initially um, that I'm putting into it. And it's basically everything you need to know to kickstart your, start your journey. Or if you're already on the self-love kind of bandwagon, it's going to help in like, um, fast track your progress, which is so cool. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when I tell you about all of this delicious, juicy goodness. Okay, the other thing is, is that one of my beautiful viewers, oh, actually, because I received such a high quality of, um, high quality, high quantity of emails from you guys and you're like, Mel, can you help me with this, 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 and this? I actually have decided, um, well, I've already started it, a new series um, called Q&A Tea Time with Mel and that's when I get you to email me at questions at melaniekatelove.com and I literally feature your questions in length. I have such an overwhelming response of you guys contacting me whether it's through Instagram you send me a private message which I've actually had to take out because I've got too many messages and I'm not giving yeah I've had to just I've turned I've turned off the message settings um so I don't receive them anymore but if you would love to have like um me to feature your question on my channel. I'd love to do it. And that's the new Q time, uh, Q and A T time segment, which I'm about to film another segment, uh, a series of that very, very shortly, like after this video. So that'll be coming to you soon, which is so exciting. And I got the best questions ever to answer. I literally feature one person's, like they write me a novel and I love that they do because it gives me so much more insight and saying, Mel, how do I find a husband? I'm like, I need a little bit more detail. Where are the blockages? You know, tell me more. Anyway, so I've been getting these novels, which I just love. So thank you to any of those beautiful souls that I have featured already. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to help you guys. I know that I'm helping initially one person, 
um, or personally, but I know that it's impacting um, the bigger majority of our beautiful MK Love fam. Okay. Now, the next one is in regards to minimalism. Now, if you guys have watched my Komari method last year, did incredibly well. I think episode two got like over 27 or 30,000 views. Um, it totally blew up on my channel. And if you came from the Komari series, hello. Um, anyway, so I kind of like have been, you know, continuing on with the Komari. Komari basically, in a nutshell, is keeping things in your life that truly spark joy um, and getting rid of everything that no longer sparks joy. So this month, Peter and I have been, well, it only literally happened today, or well, we made a big decision today. And it was like, okay, I've we've been kind of feeling like we want to simplify. Well, we have been simplifying. We've got, you know, just the perfect amount of clothes and everything in my wardrobe, uh, except for one item, which I feel like I have to get rid of, but I'm like, ah. Uh, I need to make space for it. Sometimes it's really hard to get rid of things. Um, because in this dress, I just look so good. But because it's hot in Australia, like it's meant to be winter. And I'm like, literally like, I mean, I've been wearing like denim shorts. Like it's not even winter here. And so the clothes that I have for winter, they're just sitting there and it's just like, if I haven't worn them in like a year, like that's not okay. Um, Anyways, so I'm getting rid of that. Um, but yeah, long story short, I gotta be really quick. We've already had 11 minutes and I haven't even told you the big thing yet. Um, is that, yeah, so we're deciding that we're going to get rid of our bed and we're gonna find something that's going to be a little alternative. We've been doing a lot of research into um, the alignment of our bodies and how like we started with pillows and we started simplifying our pillows and noticing that our heads are just not in a natural alignment when we're laying down, it's like our heads are kind of tilted forward. Anyways, today when I was laying down to do meditation, in like the back of my shoulders was just aching. I spent a lot of time at a computer, obviously hunched over, um, which I'm trying to correct, but you know, you do the best you can. And I don't know how to get this out. <laughs> uh, anyways, so we watched, then the universe sent us this YouTube video that came up in my suggested videos of this dude who was literally sleeping on the floor on like a little bit of padding. And he was talking about how his posture dramatically changed. Um, anyways, back to the floor when I was laying down this morning through, through meditation, I just felt like my body was in such a state of pain and it, it literally like almost made my eyes water because it, it really, really hurt. And I was like, Peter, I'm like, this doesn't, this isn't right. Like beds are a man-made thing. If you think about like how indigenous people used to live, um, you know, they were just sleeping on dirt. I'm not going to say I'm going to be sleeping on dirt. I'm just saying I'm going to be simplifying our bed situation. Um, so that's something that's kind of come up this month, which is amazing and crazy. Um, yeah, so we're going to sell our bed and we're going to find an alternative on the floor, but I want it raised a little bit because I'm into feng shui where you need to let the energy like circulate your body as you sleep. So yeah, that's something that's interesting, but it's so exciting. We've only got like two months left of this lease and then we're going to be moving into, I don't know, something else, but we want a tiny house, whatever form that may take. Anyway, are you ready for the most exciting news ever? I got engaged. Peter proposed to me on the 8th of the 8th, 1-7, if you add them together, it's 8. So the numerology is 888. If you're into spirituality and numerology, 888 basically is amplified because it's three times the power of 8, which basically means infinite love and abundance. And yeah, he proposed to me. I'll show you a quick little snippet so you can check it out. It was just like the most beautiful day. It was like perfect in every single way. Um, he literally surprised me by going, he literally, get this, went to the beach at 4 a.m. and it was on a full moon and I know that he doesn't sleep on a full moon and anyway, he wasn't there. And so, um, yeah, when I rolled over, I was like, oh, where is he? I was like, oh, he must be in the living room watching videos or something. 
didn't think anything of it. Anyway, he came back in and pretended that he was like, um, he just come back from the toilet or something like that. He's like, do you want to go to, to the beach for sunrise? And I was like, yeah. Don't know why I said yes, because I literally went to bed at 1 a.m. because I got so in the zone for creating stuff for my business. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. I don't know why. Anyway, so he manifested that I would be like, yes, go to the beach. Because every other time before then, I said no. Anyway, I get to the beach and he's like, close your eyes. Oh, actually, it was our 19th, we call it month anniversary. We celebrate our love for every day, but we celebrate more so every month. And he had packed like um, a picnic. I didn't really see what it was because I was still half asleep. But anyway, he organized all of that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. He had packed the car up. And he's like, close your eyes. I was like, what? Why am I closing my eyes? This is kind of weird. And um, so I was like, I know what the beach looks like. So this is kind of odd. And I'm like, oh crap, is he going to propose? I'm like, ah, really? Now? Ah! <laughs> and so he like walks me down to the beach. My eyes are closed and we're holding all this stuff for our beautiful breakfast. And then he goes open and I look at it and there's this beautiful like teepee that's covered with pillows and blankets. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. And then he gets out the little portable speaker and puts on our favorite playlist, which was beautiful. And then, and then we start, what did we do? We didn't have breakfast yet because I don't get hungry straight away, he does. Um, and then, well, okay, that's when we go through, oh, also with our monthly anniversary, we always say the amount of things we love about each other based on the amount of months that we've been together so it's 19 months so we will I literally said my 19 things and then he said his 19 things and then literally as he just finished saying his 19 things that he loves about me he pulls out um he, he had the ring in his pocket and he pulls it out and, and he's like will you marry me and I was like my instant reaction was like I just kissed him because I was like oh my god holy hell and then I like pulled back and I was like yes 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 I'd like totally forgot to say yes and then I went into like a massive state of shock I was like this is so crazy and so beautiful and I'm like holy bloody hell ah! so yeah I'm engaged oh and then after that we literally saw two dolphins swim super close to the um the shore at the beach and I was just like oh my god two meaning like couple and it I need to do some more research into what the symbolism of dolphins mean. So if any of you know, let me know in the comments. So anyway, it was just like the perfect day. Oh, let me just go back. When he literally asked me to marry him, the sun, it was like it was like divinely orchestrated. The sun literally started to pop up over the water and our favorite song started playing on our playlist. It was like, it was just... The perfect day in every possible way and I'm I have a fiance what oh and the other thing is is that I literally manifested my dream ring and I've had that ring this ring on my vision board you would have seen it if you watched my vision board tutorial which I showed you how to do using Canva and it's I don't know how to put it into words. Teresa Palmer had this ring on her Instagram and I was like, oh my God, it's a rose quartz crystal. Holy crap. Like that, the rose quartz is like the stone of love and, and the heart chakra. And I just, I don't know, I just really connected with it. Anyways, so I saw the ring, we went and tried rings on. I was like, oh, I really like this one, but it had, it was just mainly diamonds. And I was like, don't, diamonds aren't really me um, and I kind of had an idea of what I wanted and I kind of got caught up in the whole hype of like that's the ring that I want and then I don't know what happened but I've been staying up late a lot recently which is so not like me um, I normally like to be in bed by 8 o'clock to fall asleep by 8 30 but I've been staying up really late and I, maybe it was the night when I did stay up super late that I found the ring I don't know but um, yeah, so I went on my Pinterest board, as you do on your private board where you've got engagement rings that you like, and um, I, I went to it and I was like, there's a new ring on there. And I looked at it and I was like, holy shit, that's, that's, I don't know, it just took me a while to like put two and two together. I'm like, oh my God, it's a, literally a rose quartz crystal. 
and it has diamonds on it. No, not diamonds, Swarovski crystals on it. And I was like, oh my God. And then I put the two rings together and I'm like, I, I don't know, I didn't make the connection initially. I think I maybe I was in shock and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I think I manifested my ring. So I'm just kind of like sitting on it for a little bit just to make sure that it's definitely the right one. But my heart says yes, that it is. So I, I just don't want to rush it. Um, but I'm 99% sure that I found my rose quartz crystal engagement ring. Anyways, my love, that is basically what has happened this month. Full on, oh my gosh, full on. But I just, I don't know, each month just gets better and better. And I honestly believe that when you, you release your blockages, no matter what they are, and you raise your vibration and you do your self-love practices daily and you do the work to get yourself in the vortex, holy crap, beautiful things manifest within your reality. And when you literally feel the emotions that are associated with what you want and you're like visualizing them and you're like, yeah, if you visualize it, then you can manifest it. And that's literally what's happened. And it is such a beautiful thing. And I really wanted to share it with you on this channel. I haven't even told half my friends and family. Well, I've told my family, but I just told like my favorites. And then I haven't really got around to everyone else. Cause I've literally have spent like three days on the phone. People are like, Oh my God, congratulations. They're like, when are you getting married? Oh, that's the other thing. We've, we found the date that we're getting married. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's like the perfect numerology. It's on a new moon and everything just kind of came to us. Um, I don't know, I have no words, which is so exciting. Anyways, my love, I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me, for supporting this Law of Attraction success story update, because I know that you love it, but I actually really like making them for you. And I really like going back to see what I've manifested over the different months. Just imagine for yourself, what you could manifest in a year from now, like all those beautiful things. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the MK Love Fam, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you'd love to check out any further videos, they are over here. These are ones that I highly recommend. Anyways, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Remember, continue to make better choices so you, my love, can vibrate on the frequency of love.